breakfast. Of course. Reports of a government-funded weapons program, X-Corp, have been making headlines. Can you confirm or deny the recent allegations? Well, as you know, Homeland Security has been our top priority. And yes, yes, we have been working together with X-Corp, along with other developers, all in an effort to protect the people. Is it true that X-Corp has lost control of its operating system? There was a slight glitch. But I can assure you, our team of experts are working to resolve this issue. How many casualties were there? Those reports have yet to be confirmed. Can you give us a ballpark figure? Our main focus right now is resolving this issue. Should we be expecting another attack in the near future? I have no further comments. Thank you. Disturbing news out of Washington today. Classified weapons manufacturer, X Corp. X Corp. Top secret weapons program has lost control. Number of casualties yet to be released. Jack Kilmore missing. CEO Jack Kilmore believed dead. dead. More details beginning to surface. They made weapons. Weapons they didn't want you to know they were making. Spycraft. Nuclear projectiles. projectiles. Spider drones. The transmitter has a needle point that enters the nervous system, allowing complete control of the host. No controlled humans. Half man, half machine experiments. AKA cyborg. Experts claiming another attack possible. Experts unwilling to rule out another attack. When and where the attacks may occur. Still not sure who or what. The real question is why aren't we already dead? Believed to be targets. Paris, New York, Beijing, Berlin, Tokyo, Los Angeles, Moscow. The extent of damages is yet to be confirmed, but it is believed there are numerous I'm, casualties. I'm losing the teleprompter. I'm being told we're cutting in and out. We ask that you stay patient with us as we work to uncover any additional details. That X Corp was too powerful. That nothing could stop its artillery. For once, the reports were right. After the initial strikes, only a few of us were lucky enough to survive. We would go on to be hunted by X Corp ground units, an army of fighter drones and cyborgs, half man, half machine, slaves now controlled by the system. After a year of hiding underground like rats, we began facing a new enemy as well: hunger. One thing soon became clear. ones are already dead.
Like I said, the lucky ones were already dead. Is your mom feeling better? No. Where did, uh, where did you get this? This shit for real, Lieutenant? We have got dates, locations, transactions, profiles. It is definitely legit. Wait, go back. Amy Kilmore, original co-founder, second in command of operations. Her sister. Killed July 4th, 2017. That's, that's day one. This thing's unbelievable. It was him. It was Kilmore. All right, we gotta move now. We won't Slow have down, Lieutenant. Slow down? We've managed to survive this long for a reason. We stay off their radar. Colonel. Lukowski. Yes, sir. Search that drive. Let me know if you find any shit we can use. I don't want to hear it. Colonel, you're making a mistake. 
Are you questioning my authority, Lieutenant? If he's still alive, then we still have we a chance. We can't risk it. Risk what? We're out of food, supplies are down. We need to stop hiding and start fighting. It's a risk we have to take and you know it. All right, we do this. We do it my way. Understood? Understood. I run the show, not you. Yes, sir. We are trying to survive here one day at a time. Remember that. Looks like we're getting soft around here. Lopez, are we getting soft around here? No, sir. Good. We don't got time for that. What we do got is a situation on our hands, one that requires immediate attention. You sent us out, Colonel? Put some damn pants on. I'll be back for briefing at 10 hundred hours. And someone, please get this asshole off my cock. Jack Kilmore, co-founder and CEO of X Corp. Colonel, he started his first tech company at age 19, hailed by High Tech Magazine as the golden child of technical engineering, a true genius. And yes, I am jealous. At the ripe old age of 26, he gets the call from Uncle Sam. They're starting a new sector on home defense, one that specializes in remote-controlled weaponry and surveillance equipment. They're looking for assistance. You make him an offer that he can't refuse. So who gives a shit? Lock it up, Private. Yesterday, while searching Grid 307, I came across a cyborg pursuing a male and female target. The cyborg killed the female on spot that kept the male alive. He then took the target to an abandoned warehouse just outside the grid's western perimeter. We believe this to be a storage facility for the machines. Right. So this is a shot pulled from the spy can used by Lieutenant Spears. Magnified 750%. And we believe this to be Mr. X Corp himself, Jack Kilmore. Jack Kilmore's dead. He's right. Jack Kilmore was their first target. Killed by his own machines after he tried to shut the whole thing down. Come on. Everybody knows that story. I found this buried in the sand. It was left behind by the guy in these photographs. Cracked it open this morning. Checks out. It's information that only the highest level of authority would, would even have access to. Yeah? kind of information. Top secret shit. It's him. It's Jack Kilmore. And he's alive. It's simple. An extraction mission. Get in, grab the son of a bitch, and get out. And try not to die. How do we know it's not a trap? We don't. But if there's a chance, we're gonna have to take it. Jack Kilmore could have information. I mean, information that, that could change the course of this war. War? This isn't a war. It's a massacre. All right, let's cut the shit. Jones, Lopez, Carlisle, you're up. That's only three. We're gonna need as many hands as we can get. No, we don't have time. It's a two-day hike by foot. Buggy only fits three minor supplies. You're gonna have to do this alone. I'm talking about suicide. What's wrong, Private? You scared? I'll go. No, you're staying right here, Lieutenant. I need soldiers that listen. Colonel, but- That's an order. Got it? Good. Crazy bastard. He's gonna get us all killed. Or, you know, kill us himself. Son of a bitch been shot 30 times, he's still breathing. I would mess with Captain Machine Guy. i cut your throat and not even know it. And that ain't no shit. Desperate times. Like it or not, boys and girls, we're in them. Those supply kits are all but gone. That means the time to act is now. Before you know it, you'll be eating your own shit just to stay alive. I've seen it too many times. 
Men turned to swine, shoveling shit in each other's throats, drinking their own piss. Is that how you want to go down? No, sir. I didn't hear you. Do you want to eat shit and drink piss? Sir, no, sir. I didn't think so. Now I want that piece of shit on wheels locked, strapped, and ready to move by 1100 hours. And I want Kilmore sitting right here kissing my ass by sundown. Any questions? No, no, no sir. Good. Let's move. brought in the strays. We'd have had food for an extra month, maybe more. Yeah. Should left the dogs where you found them. You weren't our problem. No. Men like you, that's the problem. <coughs> if you ever touch me again, I'll cut your throat. Got it? on a death trap. Take a look around you, Colonel. We're already in one. Why don't you go clean up? Maybe I could calm for 1,200 hours. Just working, sweetheart. Do you want to play? I can't right now, sweetie, but um, how about later? You want to play then? You mean like hide and go seek? Like hide and go seek. Okay, but you are it first. No, you're it. No, you're it. No, you're it. No, you are it. Tap, tap, no, take back. Change of Voltage, I assume. Copy. Let's keep it tight. In and out. Ready when you are, Lieutenant. Keep your weapons 
systems ready and keep moving. Jones, stay cover. Keep an eye on the entry points. I'll run the sweep. We see it. This is where they were on target. He's already dead. Yeah, and guess who's next? Put the knife down. Oh shit, man! Don't kill me. Kill more. Kill more. Please don't let him go. Who are you? Who are you? Oh shit! You can't be kill more. Jack Kilmore. Is that your name? That's him, that's Kilmore. Son of a bitch. Carla! You want some, huh? Don't do it, Carla. This asshole tried to kill me. It's all his fault. If it weren't for him, none of this would have happened. None of it! Stand down, Private. Do you copy? Stand down, Carlo. You can rot in hell, Jones. You can all rot in hell. I'm not dying in here.
They're coming this way. We have to make them wait. Make sure they aren't being tailed. No, no, she won't make it. If they compromise our location, nobody's gonna make it. Not them, not us, nobody. Damn it, she's one of our own! And we need Kilmore. If we die, we die at one. Sangre por vida. Shit. Move out! Is that where we're going? Take this! Hold on against the wall and keep pressure on it! I'm not gonna die out here! Damn it, answer me! I'm doing everything I can. What? Think I can't shoot? I'm not as worthless as everyone thinks. Give it back. I said give it back. Do you want to shoot? Shoot to kill. And if you want to kill, Shoot for the head. Matalo! We were stationed here when it all went down. Played it safe. Waited for the cyborgs to pass us by. We were lucky. Now what about you? How the hell are you still alive? Are these really necessary? I don't know yet. Those are the group of survivors. Hiding underground, trying to fight back. But we were limited. We had weapons, but lacked the other hardware needed. And what would that be? Computers. And the power to run them. We've been scavenging for parts, trying to rebuild. Then it found us. There's a wash station a couple units down. We'll get you some new gear. And by new, I mean used. How's she doing? She won't make it through the night. I made the right move. No. I should have been there. It should have been me. You got a lot of nerve, Lieutenant. All right. It's been a long day and it's been rough. So let's cut the shit. We saved your ass for a reason, Kilmore. We need details. We need to know what happened. We need to know exactly what it is we're fighting against, and we need to know how to kill it. Because right now, all we do know is that those machines of yours wiped out 99% of the planet. About a month prior to the blackout, we received a visitor to our main facility. It was the President of the United States. He told me about a new technology one of the sister corporations had been developing, something to aid in the fight against foreign threats. Kind of technology. 
They had engineered artificial intelligence into the form of a cyber virus. The intent was to use the virus to infiltrate and gain control of enemy mainframes. So then why do they come to you? We had the infrastructure and technology to do it. That's what they told us. But that was bullshit. The real reason was that they wanted to keep it a secret. In case anything went wrong. On July 4th, 2017 at 1300 hours, we uploaded the folder containing the virus. By 1301, we had lost control of our entire operating bay. All the screens from our main concourse to our counter facilities went black, then turned to a page of scrolling numbers. Everything was changed. Passcodes, platforms, locations, everything. The rest is history. So what went wrong? No way to know for sure. But if I had to guess, I'd say they made it a little too smart. They gave it a mind of its own and it decided to use it. You see, we never opened the source file. So then who did? It opened itself. You tell me this thing is alive. I'm just telling you what I saw. How do we kill it? It's not that simple. How do we kill it? We don't. We disarm it. If we turn off the machines and we take away its ability to strike. Keep talking. Oh. Easy. The machines were designed to operate under a signal, just like a cellular device, remote control. Each one with its own receiver. If you knock out the receiver, you knock out the machine. But if we can knock out the signal, we can take down a whole sector. Where are the signals coming from? Control stations, a system of servers and satellite communications equipment. So why don't we strap it with a block of C4 and blow it clear out of the sky? Because we have to find them first. That's been a problem all along. The original towers have been cut off and now operates under its own stations. But if we can capture a data drive from one of the drones, we may be able to access flight data or records from the inner CPU. There has to be something linking the machines to the signal source. So what's our next move, cowboy? I saw intelligence equipment in one of your units. Is it functional? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a little outdated, but it's functional. With a portrait and external drive. Not so checked. Then we need to capture a data drive and see if we can search slogs. How do you mean capture a data drive? We go hunting. Oh, come on. What is he, nuts? When? Yesterday. For all we know, this location's already been compromised. No. If it knew, we'd be dead already. We should leave in the morning. The machines have night vision, we don't. First light. Locked and strapped by 0700 hours. I'm gonna need another shooter. Someone knows what they're doing. We're only gonna get one shot. I'll go. Don't let those perky tits fool you. She doesn't mess around. I hope you're right. Otherwise, we're dead. said this could never happen. We were wrong. We were all wrong. We have to do something! We have to do something now! Help me. Help me, Johnny.
You know it's not polite to read someone's hard drive. I'm doing what any smart soldier would do. And what's that? Researching the enemy. Is that what you think I am? The enemy? The RCT. It's meant to be used on opposing ground troops. We would strap on the prisoners of war and send them back out to the field, watch them fight against their own regime. Are you proud of this? We built them to keep soldiers like you off the battlefield. Is that what they told you? The Cerebrum Controller, C1. What's it do? It was also meant to control the physical functions of the host. You mean slave? But unlike the RCT, it also had the ability to read and control something else. What? Their mind. You think you're smart, don't you? You just don't get it. We're trying to save lives. You didn't save lives. Take a look around. You destroyed them. Oh. I think we're better off staying next to the rocks. Right. A little more cover in case some shit goes wrong. And we'll need something with a lot of firepower. 50 cal won't get it done. Got grenades. Don't. Maybe something with a little more accuracy. What about a rocket launcher? That should work. shot. Keep an eye out. There could be more close by. Okay. Okay, okay. We got a live one. So private, aren't they? Let me see it. Now we wait. <sighs> For what? The script to run its course. It's checking the drone's access code against a list of possible combinations. And, uh, what if it doesn't have it? Very unlikely. The file has over 750 trillion characters, and it runs 16 million attempts per second. Trust me, it'll find it. Five bricks, enough to blow up a small village. How much you want? All of it. I thought you well, Lieutenant. Any word on the logs? Still working on it. Reminds me of the good old days, back in 68, back when we kept shit real. None of this technology bullshit. Back when the world was right. Hey, I 
Vanessa, do you copy? Yes, sir. Good. Front office, 1,700 hours. I want this shit locked down tight. I want everybody on the same page. Checked against a quarter of his data already. It turns out that uh, we're, we're dealing with a multi-layered access code. So we've already cracked one. Speak English, Klingo. It means that the, the script is working. It won't be long. Okay. Until then, we can continue to get shit done. Kilmore, assuming we get the location, what's the plan? We get in, set the detonators, and get out. And that's it? No more machines? Not within the station's control radius. Approximately 500 miles. So what you're saying is they're still around, it's not in our backyard. Correct. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 500 miles? So all this hard work that we're doing, putting our asses on the line, and best case scenario is that we slow it down? It's a start, isn't it? He's right. It's a start. We'll at least have the ability to restock, relocate, then prepare for another advance. Uh, what about getting inside? How do you navigate those machines? Shoot them. <laughs> Shouldn't be an issue. It's gonna keep the control base hidden. Very unlikely we'll come across any drones or cyborgs. At least, not on the exterior. Uh-huh. And, and what about the interior? Esquisle. We're gonna have to move fast. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sweetie. Scary dreams to get. Yeah. I'm sorry, sweetie. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, you can ask me whatever you want. You're not gonna leave me, are you? Of course not. Why would you say something like that? Promise? You know, I used to have a daughter who looked just like you. Really? Yeah. What was her name? Her name is Becca. She's the one who made this for me. Really? Mm-hmm. What was she now? She's in heaven. A skinny kid with glasses was looking for you. What did he say? Said he was looking for you. You can feel it, can't you? Blood in the air. Feels good. You know what any of this bullshit means? Yeah. It means we still have a chance. Those are the coordinates for X-Corp's head facility. Ground Zero. It's a couple hours south of here, but it's impossible. And Ground Zero is leveled. I've seen it. There's, there's nothing left. Maybe you weren't looking hard enough. Turn that piece of shit off! Wait, wait, wait. 
36.8025 degrees north, 114.8022 degrees west. Coordinates. Yeah. Our coordinates. Drive, we pulled the coordinates and gave up our location. You got coordinates? Yeah, right there. Okay, facility, ground zero.
I'm scared. Don't worry. I'll protect you. Is he going to come back? She promised. Yeah. I'll come back. I checked the gear again last night. Looks like the colonel was off. We have no C4, no detonators, no grenades, and ammo slow. We have to get inside. We have to shut it down by hand. It's over, isn't it? We never had a chance against them. There's going to be a lot of activity for the next hour or so. And it should die down. At least enough to make a run for it. If we stay next to the covered areas, we may slip past. We have to go back. If we go back now, everyone dies. We have to stick to the plan. I made her promise. I can't let her die alone. You did what you had to do. And you're not dead yet. Neither are they. We still have a chance. It's not over yet. Remember that. There's nothing left. No. It's here. I remember talk of an underground safe zone when they were first building. Thought the idea had been dismissed, but I'm starting to think. We never got the memo. Let's go.
he was functional, you wouldn't be. Be careful. I got something. Quite as, you know, high tech as I imagine. That is all right. It's weird. There's no passcode. No uh, login. Nothing. Hey. Hey. You know your way around the system. No. All the platforms have been changed. Okay. It's a lot of data. Lots of menus. It's gonna take a minute. I guess. Do you know why they want to hurt us? They were programmed that way. Why? I don't know. Hey, what's that? There's something here. I can feel it. Hey! What did you find? <laughs> 
We live to fight another day. Something's wrong. No, 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 no. Firewall.
What is it? It's the firewall. Watch the door. I tried to stop it, Jack. There was nothing I could do. No. No. It's not your fault. It controls me now. It made me do things, Jack. Horrible things. It's okay now. I'm getting you out of here. Oh, Jack. It's too late for me now. Look at me. Damn it, Jack. Look at me! You have to shut it down now, or you will all die. You have to shut it down before they see you. They? What do you mean, they? Hurry, Jack. You don't have much time. spread epidemic beginning to spiral out of control. Thus, we took it upon ourselves to do something about it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the future, Jack. I'm talking about the corporations that ran this world. Corporations like X-Corp. Just too powerful. Too reckless. You see, Jack, we've been studying the trends for years now. All in an effort to forecast the path of our society to try to figure out where it was all going. 
And what we discovered, well, it was troubling. You see, there comes a point where technology becomes dangerous. It becomes a, a disease that grows and spirals out of control. If left untreated, well, it can destroy everything. Therefore, it must be stopped. And everything that it has infected must be killed. Do you see where I'm going with this, Jack? You're insane. Come on, Jack. I'm not insane. I'm a realist. The numbers don't lie, you know that. We've added it all up, and it became clear we had to act now, or the age of man would cease to exist. Replaced by the age of machine. An age of artificial intelligence. You know that virus we sent you? It was never meant to infiltrate the enemy's mainframe. It was meant to infiltrate yours. We needed an army, Jack. An army that would listen and obey our command. Never second-guess an order. An army that was capable of the task at hand. What task? To cleanse the Earth. To start over. I can see you're upset. Look, I've always liked you, Jack. All right, I'm sorry I had to come to this, but it's important you know. It was never personal. I find it very personal, Mr. President. Sorry you feel that way. I wouldn't do that if I was you, Jack. That system is the only thing keeping your sister alive. Don't listen to him, Jack. There's nothing you can do for me now. Whether you hit the switch or not, I'm already dead. You know that. Think about it, Jack. At best, you win this small battle. There are other systems, more machines. We will find you eventually. Why delay the inevitable? Why prolong the suffering? Why not just die? Because... I need to find you first. All right, Jack. Have it your way. seen anything yet.
was left at the bodies that unloaded our gear. And though our future may look grim at best, one thing is certain. We will never give up, never stop fighting. Because somewhere out there, there's a group of men that took it upon themselves to play God. And now, they almost die.